What if I told you that now you can create an image by typing few words, how does that sound? I know it sounds stupid and unrealistic. I will also agree with you if someone told me this few years back. But now it's possible. What you are seeing right now are the creation of words. Not created by the designers, but by AI called DALI 2. So what is DALI and DALI 2? DALI and DALI 2 are machine learning models developed by OpenAI to create images from text called prompts. For example, if we type an astronaut riding a horse in a photorealistic style, this is the kind of result we will get. And not just a single result, we can actually get the variation of it. It does not create images from the internet, but instead creates its own images. So different description will get different results. I know it can be confusing at first. To make it more understandable, let me show you how to use DALI 2. This is the interface of DALI 2. And here is the input field where we will type different text to create images. Let's give it a try. An armchair in the shape of pineapple. Then click on generate to create the image. It generally takes some few seconds and in between you can see the tips given by DALI system like what kind of description should we write to create good images and here we have our result some of the results are not accurate but some of them are pretty great like this is just literally what I type in let's add another text with it an armchair in the shape of pineapple inside a restaurant hit on generate sometimes AI will not give you great results but still, it understands the meaning of the text. We have the restaurant, an armchair, and a pineapple. Let's type another text. Lion, tiger, and dog are sitting in the jungle eating pizza. Hit on generate. Let's see what we get. This is kind of funny. I think because of the description, the environment got funny and it created in a playful way. It looks like an image from a children's book. And I'm not able to find a dog. Never mind, let me show you another feature of DALI called Outpainting. This is the editor of Outpainting and here we can upload the image and edit them. In the bottom corner you can see this icon, click on it to upload the image or you can simply press U. But make sure your resolution should be 1024 pixel width and 1024 height. Open the image and click on tick to place it here. In the bottom we have several tools but we will take the eraser tool or press E. That's the shortcut for eraser. We are going to erase this part because we want to put a lion inside the swimming pool. And type in the input field, lion sitting inside the pool with a boy. Hit on generate. Wait for a few seconds and we have four options to choose from. The results are outstanding. Not just the lion is sitting inside the pool, but the effect of underwater is also applied on it. I think this one is acceptable. And you know by accepting each creation, we are actually improving the AI system. So the next time you do this same edit, it's going to improve. Same thing will work on the prompts. For example, this is a history of my recent creation. Scroll down and you will see my first attempt. And the prompt is Goddess of Fire Digital Art. But when you type this same prompt, you will get a better result. Let me know in the comment section if I am right or not. On the homepage, you can see other people's creation. Also the text description is given in it. Click any art you like and click on try this example. And you will get variation of results. There is another amazing feature called add generation frame. But we need a creation first. So let's try to create something good. Type in. 3D render of a futuristic city on New York. Generate. And what a good result we get. Out of these four, I think this one is looking good. In the header, click on edit. We can see the size of generation frame. So take the add generation frame tool or press F. We're going to extend the top sky. So place it on the top and hit on generate. It created pretty good result. Let's accept this one and extend the right side as well. Take the frame tool, place it on the right, hit on generate. There are four options to choose from. This one is looking good. Let's accept it and lastly the top portion. 
I really don't like the parts in the sky, so take the razor tool and erase these parts. Let's see if we can remove them or not. Hit on generate. Yes, we got a blank sky. Now fill this part. We got the object on the sky, but no issues, it can easily get dropped in Photoshop. To download the image, click on download icon. So this is the final result we get from AI. Let's move on to the next question. How do I sign up for DALI 2? You can easily create an account. The link is given in the description. Next question is, can I use DALI 2 for commercial use? And the answer is a big yes. Yes, you can use it in your personal projects as well as for your commercial projects. And finally, how much does it cost to use DALI 2? The good news is, your first month is free. Each generation of image costs you one credit, so you will get 50 credits for your first month. Then after that, each month you will get 15 credits only. If you want to edit more, you can also buy the credits. By paying $15, you get 115 credits. Maximum you can buy is 11,500 credits. By paying $1,500. I know it is expensive, but I think in the near future, it's going to get cheaper. I hope I cover all the questions in your mind, but if there's something else that I got missed, just tell me in the comment section. I hope you learned something new, and if you do, hit the subscribe button. My name is Shubham, I thank you so much for watching Graphic Arena.